What's up, Raf gang? Welcome back, to, yes, back to the Raf Cave for another unboxing video. Now, this is a whole nother world that I'm getting into in the Raf Cave. This is all about hyper scooting. Uh, as far as hyper scooting goes, those are those scooters you stand on that go really fast and really powerful. If you want to see my video of my unboxing, look at it right there. Um, so, of course, if you have a hyper scooter or any kind of motorized vehicle or whatnot you want to protect yourself and that's by getting a good helmet there's a wide variety of helmets out there you can do the half helmet you can do the the bmx helmet you can do the full helmet that can take the the chin guard off and all kinds of things but for me i wanted to have the full look the full the full coverage in front of the face over the head visors all that stuff and of course it has to be large enough for this thick large noggin right here and uh, i went to a, a few bike stores and tried on a few helmets and I'm pretty new to this world, right? So I put on the, the 3X and it was, I'm talking like, you know what I mean? They're super, they're super tight. And then I tried the 4X and I was like, man, oh boy, right? And then I'm gonna try the largest that they offer is the 5X. But then again, I did some more research and you actually want it to be tight. Uh, you don't want any kind of wiggle room or fingers going top of the forehead or or uh, any tilt of the back of the helmet to tilt forward. So now that I know all the rules about a helmet fitting, I'm kind of nervous that they might be too big. But it's better to start big and go small than go small and have to go, you know what I mean? So that being said, uh, I looked at good helmets and HJC is supposed to be one of the best. Super coverage, uh, incredible technology with their helmets, uh, the, the materials they use, the protection, the ventilation, uh, the cool visors that come up and interchangeable stuff and you can add microphones to them and all these things awesome awesome stuff guys so i'm pretty excited to get a, a really good helmet and i'm an unboxer for you guys and and i'll do some more uh unboxing of, of my scooter down the road so be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and uh, let me know what kind of helmets you have and what you have been up to with the, the racing world and all that stuff but let's get this unboxed unfortunately there's no so let's open it up here Pretty uh, pretty nervous off to return this today and get a smaller size, but like I said before, it's better to start big than go small. Whew. Nice packaging here. Just basically, it's the box and this. That's it. Ah, I like this little baggy quality. Okay, so let's see. All right, so at the bottom here, loosen up the string. Oh, cool. All right. The Raft Cave Helmet. Wow. <laughs> How cool this is, man. This is so cool. Awesome visor. Now this one, I think you got a little lip here. Hop, hop, yep. Like that. So if you want to talk to somebody real quick like that, and there's different, there's different clicks, so that's good. And then lock it in, so keep that, that wind out. And they have some other holes here where you can buy some kind of extra visor, like a fog shield or wind, like rain shield or something like that. There's lots of stuff out there you can put on your helmet. Um, this is Smart HJC, so you can put one of their Bluetooth mics in here. Uh, ventilation, guys, you got some pretty cool things on top you can open and open and close the ventilation here uh this one i think is going to be a visor one let me see oh shit okay hold on pop that up now when it's sunshine out look at that instant sunglasses that's awesome cool and then I think you can lift this whole thing up. Yeah, so there's a little lever down here. Pop pop that, oh my God, pop that up. And look at that, guys. You can actually go half helmet. How cool is that, huh? That is awesome. Hold that, lock it in, sweet. Um, so yeah, on the back, you got some more ventilation coming out the back there. 
And of course, you gotta make sure it's DOT protected. 5X. Who's got a 5X head? I hope I don't. And then on uh, the inside, you got uh, some stuff here. So uh, I'm not sure what that is, like a chin, chin guard or something. And then you have your chin strap here, which has a little button and a red tag here. There's no quick way to snap and unsnap, I guess, right? So, wow. All right, so that, that's going to take you take, get some taken used to get some take some getting used to that you have to put the strap through the both rings before you can tie it. So now it's open. Okay. On the inside, guys, there's just a ton of padding in here and stuff. It's crazy. A ton of padding. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to put this on for the first time, guys, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be loose. Here we go, guys. And you want to actually stretch these uh, the chin straps outward when you put it on. And it should be pr like kind of stiff to put on. All right. So it, I do have pressure in my cheeks, which is good. Uh, the back of my head, I feel I feel snug on the back of my head here and on the front of my head. You want to make sure that this visor is not too low and not too high. I do have a little wiggle room, but I can't you can't put your two fingers up here, which is good. If you can slide your fingers up there, helmet's too big. I'm gonna do the back test here. Now that, it is a little loose there. So that's a little questionable. You shouldn't, when you do this, it shouldn't go too far. And then the other test, of course, when you grab the side. See, see on my head? It's kind of loose in there. So yeah, I kind of got to go to a four a four X because you really want this to be tight, and then over time, it'll get looser, right? But if it's loose now, over time, it's going to get even looser, and that's not good. All right, so that so I know at least that I want to get a four X, but very cool helmet. What is this? Watch this. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. And then this goes down. Where is that? Where is that lip at? Right here. There it is. Bam. Man, my voice changes inside this helmet. That's for sure. This is cool. Yeah, that's cool. <sighs> okay. I mean, I mean, you could wear it, but then again, if you get in a crash, you don't want your head to be a little bit loose in there. You want it to be like, tight. so unfortunately to be safe, you really want to get a little bit snugger, snugger fit. So I'm going to return this one and go with the four XL and then that'll be just perfect. And after a while, it'll get looser and it's going to fit to my face and it's going to mold perfectly and it's going to be just right. But uh, I love this helmet. This is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is when I get my 4X, I'm going to get um, a webcam. And I'm going to stick it either on the side here or on the front. Uh, not in the front, actually, because I don't want to get in, in the way of this here. So, yeah. All right. So definitely going to go on the side. So my webcam will be stuck on the side here and then kind of go forward a little bit. And then I'm going to get uh, a some couple of cool lights to to go on the top and maybe on the side here. And then get a cool sticker on the back and I'm going to get a little uh, light, a red light to stick in the back as well. And then, of course, got to get the Bluetooth uh, attachment, which will go right here. 
and then I'll get the Bluetooth speakers and then I get the microphone from the webcam and the Bluetooth mic. So this thing's going to be crazy when it's all done. Uh, but wow. Yeah, this is cool. All right. Well, I'm going to get the uh, refund process started and I'll probably get this one back in a couple weeks. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is the first of many of my scooter videos and I'm going to show you all the accessories that I get for it. Just like my arcade. You know, when I go into something, I go all in, right? So I got some cool accessories I'm going to put on my scooter and I'll be able to show you guys. And, uh, you know, down the road when I get a webcam going and I, I can do some some vlogging of my trips and stuff. And that'll be pretty cool. Right now it is winter, uh, so it's 30 degrees out. Uh, 32 degrees is my cutoff. I don't want to go out when it's below 32. I mean, maybe 30. I'll maybe get a little wiggle room, you know what I mean? But I really don't want to be in the, the cold too much for scooter for longevity purposes and stuff. Uh, but yeah, once it gets springtime and summertime, guys, oh boy, I'm going to be going everywhere outside, man. I can't wait. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed this video. This is, this is the first of many. And uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, Home Theater Rules. And of course, Scooting World Rules as well. And you guys have a wonderful day. And again, uh, happy new year, uh, 2024. Let's get it. All right, guys, see ya.